And all I hear is this man screaming. Is, he said, dance, bitch. And he starts shooting. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Just they asked her, did you hear someone yell dance, bitch? She said, now, where did that come from? Those words that loom so large over this trial, the fact that the prosecution claims, Meg claims, that somebody, uh, that Tori yelled dance, bitch, and pointed a gun at her. Kelsey Harris said, now, where did that come from? She didn't just say, no, I didn't hear it. She said, where did that come from? And she said it in a very authentic manner. The defense attorney, he came into the courtroom and he said, boom, 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 dance, be dance. That's what they said inside the courtroom. They said, dance, be dance. This is the trial between uh, Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion. Oh. Okay. I'm like, how in the world does a defense attorney come out and that's your case? That's how you're going to start with? It's so dramatic. It's like one of the most exciting things since OJ, but no no white women died. Mm. The greatest American alive. Like I'm saying, I personally didn't follow it, but I heard it when it came out. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, okay, well, who did it? I think that's the least important question in the whole case. Like mm. the who done it don't even matter. People have fun and shit gets wild sometimes. That's like the truth. Well, if we sippy sippy, sometimes when you start knocking on back, boy, you start having a wild time and crazy things start happening. Uh, guns get pulled out, shots get fired. You wake up the next day and say, holy Christ, that was a crazy night. Right. Uh, so <laughs> it should be a lot less liquor, eh? Like, a, lot, a lot less guns. Like, why was a firearm pulled? Because these are very famous people. Like, Houston is a dangerous place, man. You got to protect yourself. Obviously, now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. Everywhere, really. Like, I can't, I can't blame no gun. I can't, it's just, I can't blame alcohol. This is human behavior, man. They were celebrating, and the celebration got out of hand. Mm. So, like, I always say, who was the aggressor? Somebody started it. Like, do we? Do you think we need to find fault? Going to court is expensive, okay? Things say, hey, don't do the crime if you won't do the time. Crime is subjective, you know? Like, at some point in time, once upon a time in America, just being me, it was a crime. Yeah, true, true. And so, as laws evolve, I'm just saying laws should be beneficial to the people. Like, it shouldn't be for some celebrities being in court having a public dispute. You shot me. Girl, you didn't really get shot, man. Tell the truth, okay? You was out there squabbling. Y'all was acting a fool, and the gun got pulled. Again, who was the aggressor? Why was the shit even in play motion in the first place? Hey, when when three people are drunk and every person has their own story, how are you supposed to get to the to the bottom of the story? Shit, who gun was it? You, it's questions that can be asked to find out to find out who the truth is. Three drunk people were acting crazy. Okay, well, fuck it. Everybody go. Go where? Down. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Don't nobody okay. want to talk. Don't nobody want to be true. So, so look, look, you and two of your friends are in to have a dispute. Y'all, nobody remembers what happens. And one person is trying to play victim. So all of y'all should just go to jail because no one knows what happened. Man, somebody know what happened. Somebody ain't that drunk. You know, that person is drunk. That person is drunk. Somebody is not that drunk. Sir, do you drink alcohol? I do. There are many nights that I don't remember anything. None, none at all. Like what? I don't know what happened. Yeah, uh, me too. Me too. Me too. But I'm just saying. All three of them drank to the place where... They don't know what happened. Who was driving? They had a driver. They had a driver. Mm -hmm. the, the common ground is just the understanding human behavior. Like, we've been, you've partied before. Tell the truth. You had fun before. You got crazy before. And so, should you have been prosecuted for getting crazy? I Maybe mean, you did something that you probably shouldn't have done. My bad. I shouldn't have done it. Things that's happening between Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. She's trying to punish this man because her feelings is hurt. Mm. This ain't about no justice. You're not supposed to use the legal system to try to punish people. Nope. I'm not supposed to use the legal system for my feelings. And if we can't be adults and, and, and solve damn disputes together, man, there's a problem, okay? So who who you think is um who you think gonna get it? Somebody gotta get it. I couldn't imagine being a drawer because these people's names are so big and everything that's happening is so crazy. They've heard so much information. I, I followed this case because it was so crazy. They were in Hollywood busting a gun, acting a fool. <laughs> um, be honest, who did it? You got crazy. First. You got crazy at the party, okay? Mm. You got crazy at the party. You was jealous. It's okay. We get jealous sometimes. Yeah. I done done some crazy ass shit being jealous, all right? <laughs> who hasn't? We have so much division in America right now. It's like tearing us apart. Tory, Meg, Tory. They was out there acting silly. That's the truth. Who should get punished? I think both of them have had so much damage just by having this drag out in public opinion. Mm. So so if both of them was acting crazy, right? All three of them was acting crazy. All three of them was acting All crazy. All four of them was acting crazy. All she she was at Kylie Jenner's house. Shout out to Kylie Jenner. He was out there acting crazy with these black folks in Hollywood. So guess what? All four of them go. <laughs> Man, they finna go home and sleep in their super king size bed. They all four of them go home and go sleep and, and in enjoy the rest of their life. Right. And America, it was good entertainment. Yeah, it was a good distraction from our harsh reality. Uh -huh.
What, what's the reality? Back to work, nigga. <laughs> clock back in. Got to clock back in, man. Hey, right. like, looking at these rich people's lives was so much fun for half a second. It's like they almost know they cloud chasing, too. Man, how, how much fun would it be to be having drinks with Kylie Jenner uh, in Hollywood Hills? I personally don't know because I don't care about Kylie Jenner. Who is she? <laughs> a billionaire. Oh, a billionaire. Okay, well, she, she put her pants legs on just like I, I do, right? I wonder if billion-dollar vagina is the same as a uh, thousandaire vagina. Hmm. Like, like they take care of themselves a little bit more. Does billionaire vagina taste different? Mm. Do, they eat, do they eat different? Like, do they eat different? How healthier do you eat from this, this person? Hey, that was a very telling. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's all the same. <laughs> you say you're pretty sure it's all the same? I'm pretty sure it's all the same. He's having a good time. I am. The Meg trial is brought to you by Rock Nation. Do say it's brought to you by. Right. Rock Nation. Thank See you, Jay Z. Right. We appreciate you starting the party. Keep the party going as black folks act a fool in America. Do say, do say. All right. <laughs> I have to go get me some a little later. A little later getting turned, yes. The greatest American alive. Man, Meg talking about dance, biz, dance. Dance, biz, dance. You so crazy. You was dancing on that nigga Dan Lane. That's what you was doing. Tell tell the truth, okay? She was jealous about some penis over the actor. You mad at your friend because you wanted her dangling. Holy. Wow. Yeah, y'all, y'all wild for that. What's the world going to say when they find out that this whole thing is about a woman being jealous about some penis? Probably nothing. Nothing. They're going to say protect black women. The greatest American alive. 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 